So the crowd level at Epcot has definitely picked up. Um, there's lots and lots of people here. to one of my favorite rides of all, Space Shipper. The ball. Yeah, but we're yeah, the, the ball. The big ball. Yeah, I love it. Heading in. There's a really long line today. Now knowledge can travel as fast as the what do you think about the potential? Potential what? Yeah, computers. Uh, <laughs> Heading into Club Cool. Brian can try some Beverly and other beverages. Refreshing. I don't know why people hate that. <laughs> Everyone has different tastes. Bever Brian loves Beverly. Brian's going for some more Beverly. It's so great. You want more? It's tasty. I would actually buy this at the store. Really? So we're at the Chew Lab and the Sustainable Chew, and all the seating is in the broad sunlight. Stopped at the Chew Lab. Carmen got the salmon. And I thought the salmon was supposed to have bacon on it. Hmm? I thought the salmon was supposed to have bacon on it. Unless it's... I don't know. Unless the bacon's that, there might be stuff. bacon in that corn. Oh, maybe. And then a... What's this called? Nitro truffle? truffle? Nitro truffle? I though? think it's like that... Um, what do you call it? The frozen oh, look at stuff? That. Yeah. You know, the, what is it called? Liquid nitrogen. Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's dig in. So I got the Chew Lab um, salmon and the chocolate truffle. The salmon was okay. I wouldn't get it again. It was good though, it wasn't bad. And the truffle was amazing. I would definitely get that. It was the liquid nitro. But it didn't taste cold or anything. It was just like a chocolate truffle with caramel and maybe some nuts on top. It was very good. Both were gluten free. It's definitely hotter today than yesterday, but there's still very low humidity, wouldn't you say? Yeah. For Florida? It's not really sticky or anything. No, it's it's hot, but it's not sticky at all. So we're heading to Soren now. We have a fast pass for that coming up. Yay! Maybe we can ride living with the land we're in there too. Maybe. It's now time for Soren. I can't film this. Um, they ask you not to film it. I know people do, but we don't. So I'm gonna put my camera up, but we'll be back for living with the land after this. Time for living with the land. Rainforests are also extremely rich in productive living systems, providing us with oxygen, food, medicine, and other elements essential to our lives. Air. That's an edible food. Ooh, it's bright. <laughs> you squinting? Yeah, it's bright. <laughs> 
The transitions have a transition. They have a transition. Welcome to our living laboratory, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests. Now, people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. We got a cute fall display. Autumn. Autumn. Very cute. How'd you like living with the land? Still living. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of my favorite rides, I love it. I didn't see anything new. Well, I don't know if there's supposed to be anything new. Well, the autumn display. I don't think that was there in September. Probably not. Yeah, that was cool. Pretty view of the Epcot Spaceship Earth. So we're in line for Nemo, and we just came in the fast food store, and the line's like right here and actually goes back there. Long line. Nemo was fun as always and we did a periscope through that thanks to those who joined us. Now we're going to head towards our resort which is Beach Club and Brian's going to get some fish and chips. If any of the lines are not too long, which is probably a joke on a Saturday night, I'm going to grab something at the Food and Wine Festival but I have a feeling I'll be getting quick service at Beach Club so um, we'll see how long the lines are. Alright, so I went back to the refreshment port and got the pineapple dole whip with Bacardi coconut rum. And it's crazy crowded now, but that did not have a line. So here's what it looks like, and I'm sure it's going to be good. I'll let you know how it is. So I would not recommend the dole whip with the Bacardi rum. Dole whip's good, of course, but the Bacardi rum's kind of bitter. The coconut rum, I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, it's slushy. Yeah. Well, I stirred it up because it was all at the bottom. But it's, I, I like the Dole Whip by itself better, which is kind of sad, but yeah, wouldn't recommend it. It's been a fun day at Epcot. Very crowded though. It felt like a long day, but it really wasn't. It really wasn't. Yeah, but we got a lot done today. So we're heading back to Beach Club to relax and call it an evening. I like this figment in his chef outfit. That's really cute. That's hilarious. Take a guess. I'm gonna say $24.95. It's right there, you had your hand on it. $29.95. I win! Heading over to Beach Club. We're gonna stop at the quick service and see what they have. We'll find out for gluten free. Yeah, I passed on the fish fish uh, fish chips, fish and chips. <laughs> yeah, because it was so crowded. Didn't look too bad to me, but Brian said he didn't want to wait. No, it wasn't too crowded, but no, like, just too many people. Too many people? Yeah. So we're at the marketplace, the beach club, and we asked about gluten-free options just for your information. They have, um, there's gluten-free cupcake label, but I didn't see any actual gluten-free cupcakes. Yeah, I'm thinking they're sold out. And then I'm getting a gluten-free pizza, but he said I could also get the sandwiches with the Udi's bread, so that's pretty cool. And then Brian's getting a cheese plate with crackers and cheese and fruit for vegetarian. Seems quite a bit for $6.99. Yeah, it's not too bad. And I also have a tuna salad, which is a lump of tuna salad with a couple of slices of pita bread for $4.99. That's pretty good price too. Yeah, it is. All right, so we got our dinner from the marketplace at Beach Club. And I'm very happy because I was able to get a cheese pizza. They also had pepperoni, and you could also get any sandwich they had with Udi's bread made fresh. Um, so for gluten-free, Beach Club has much better food than Boardwalk. Boardwalk had pre-made sandwiches. The bread was not good at all and no pizza option and just one salad. So I would definitely recommend this for gluten-free. And Brian seemed pleased with the options for vegetarian. There was a cheese plate, which he got, and they also had a tuna, which I know is about vegetarian, but if you eat seafood, a tuna plate that was pre-made. So we took a nice long rest break, took showers. 
relax in front of the TV for a while. But we decided to watch a couple of good shows. Here's Reborn and Hotel Impossible, which we haven't finished. Yeah, we like that show. So now we're going to head down towards the boardwalk um, and see what's going on. There's a wedding going on downstairs. Yeah, we thought I think we'd it's take over a, by now. Oh, it is over? I'm pretty sure, but it's pretty funny. They're announcing everyone coming out. <laughs> so anyway, we're just going to go downstairs and see what's going on. So we're down here at the beach in front of Beach Club and the wedding reception is going on here. It well, looks pretty neat. Well, it's just kind of weird. It seems like it's like crashing, right? Well, I'm sure they would. They would know who belongs. You like the wedding crashers just walk right in there. I'm sure they'd know who belongs. <laughs> All right, so we made it back into Epcot through the International Gateway. France is over there. Looks like a flurry of activity. Never. All right, so we're at World Showcase. And as you can hear in the background, well, look at all those people. I don't know if you guys can see. Look at all the people over there. So we're just noting that the line for France goes all the way and loops back. So we were just talking about how this is fun just walking around Epcot. And I think there's two reasons. One, we're not trying to do anything, so we are not the people standing in these really long lines. And two, it's not hot at all. It feels actually really comfortable outside. Well, it's also alive with noise. You hear all that? Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. It's just nice because we're not trying to eat. We're not trying to drink. We're not trying to ride anything. So it's just relaxing. It's Brazil over there. people so later in the week we're going to be doing our premium pass for the food and wine festival so it'll be interesting to see what that looks like you know, compared to this yeah yeah it's it's only on monday through thursday though and i don't think that's nearly as crowded as saturday This is back open. It was closed for a little while. <laughs> but it's finally back open. I love the little food and wine uh, banners. Sam, the little blue food and wine banners. Oh, yeah, you know, the stands too. Oh, yeah, cute. Oh, yeah, they even have the Greek stand. But look, see, the banners match those banners. So here's another example of the wine. This is Italy. And it goes, and it goes, and it goes. This is still the Italy wine. Still the wine. Still the wine. And it's still going. I mean, that is just crazy. That's like 40 minutes to get some ravioli. Do you want ravioli bad enough to stand in that line? No way. But it goes back to maybe these people will have another chance. I don't know. I guess. So here's a great view of Spaceship Earth. Looks really great. Mexico. Are you going to rub in Aladdin's genie with yeah. now? <laughs> and nothing. Nothing happened. There's you some more. Yeah, cool. They make good uh, incense murders. Those wooden legs are really neat. So that was a fun 
crazy excursion into Epcot at night, but we're making our way out now because it is so packed and so crazy. Um, we didn't eat or drink or do anything, but it was fun just walking around. So now we're on that bridge that crosses over to Boardwalk and we're going to see what's going on over there. Really nice view back towards Beach and Yacht Club. And you still can hear, I don't know if you guys can hear the music, but the wedding party is still going. Is it Dinah Ross? Is it Dinah Ross or? No. Um, go. It's, it's, is it Aretha Franklin? Oh, that's it. Yeah. Is that it? I don't know. So let us know in the comments. Either Diana Ross or Richard Franklin. It's not Diana Ross. Alright. <laughs> so we've now made it over to the boardwalk and it's pretty packed. It's not the boardwalk. Lots of people. There must be a really good game on because it's really packed at the ESPN club. We're both sports illiterate, so we don't know what's on. <laughs> Alright, so instead of tricking your sleeve, your shirt, I'm gonna trick your eyes with an optical illusion. I call it the three rope mystery. And it uses three ropes. I named it myself, I did. You just have to follow the sizes of the ropes. A small rope, a medium rope, and a really long rope. You have to follow the small rope, you can follow the illusion. Okay, so follow the small rope. Got it? Yeah. Oh, it's this one, right? If you just look at the small one, then look at the other one. You can tell the difference, now, right? So it's all about how you look at it. Now, as soon as you change the way that you look at an illusion, eventually the illusion changes. Watch. If I line up the ropes and you focus on the ends, it'll actually start to look like the ropes are the same length. All you have to do is just focus on the ends right there. Look. See that? It's an illusion. It looks like they're the same length, right? See, this one looks like it's the same as this one, which looks like the same as this one. You're right. We'll slow it down. Two rope mysteries. It's a one rope mystery kind of night, isn't it? <laughs> An optical illusion with one rope looks like this. Oh. Oh. Hey! <laughs> All right, so we had a fun-filled day. Went back to Epcot for a, a late-night stroll and then over to It was Boardwalk. very interesting. It was very interesting. It was a lot of fun. So thanks for joining us. We'll be back tomorrow at Magic Kingdom. If you enjoyed our videos, please like and subscribe. Down below. It's not that late. <laughs> Silly.